Why Zeus get a fix? What's going on? Calm down, such a fuss. We're waiting for Buttermix. I'm afraid he's late, as usual. He's here. Please forgive my tardiness, my friends. I left the ring on under a cauldron. How are you? Right the sunlight, but we'll be even righter when get the... Shh! Uh, I will come to the point. You all know of Caesar's plans to conquer the Gaulish village. <clears throat> uh, my village. Not news, huh? Well, I believe... He's a druid's whisker away from succeeding! By Zeus! By Belanus! By Odin! Bye bye. What waffle you get a fix? Thanks to your potions and give superhuman strength to your warriors, your village needn't fear the Romans. To overcome your village, Caesar would need to give his legions a power even more greater than yours. And I don't know of anybody who could harness such a great power. Max, it does, of course. Precisely. Bravo! Encore! It's your room, as we say in Rome. <laughs> Marvelous, dear fellow. A fine brace of druids. They are yours, noble Caesar. Make good use of them. Count on me, Getterfix. Take them away! Traitor? Who are you to talk about our druid like that? My name is Sam Schiffer, Gaul, and I should know a traitor when I see one. I'm a traitor myself. Traitor to Rome. I'll not betray treachery till treason is reason of Caesar. Pretty, but I didn't understand a word of what he said, Asterix. So you have the gall to come to our village, to slander our druid without evidence? And what's more, you even admit to being a traitor? Yes, well, I'm on your side now, Gaul. Let him finish his story, Asterix. It's true that Getafix has been a bit odd lately. You know, last week, he didn't even want to give me any magic potion. But he doesn't ever give you magic potion, Obelix. You fell in the cauldron when you was little, and that doesn't make our Getafix a traitor. You're not going to believe the first Roman that comes by. Why, Tutatis? He's gone! Just like a thief. I'm here, Gold. You wanted evidence? I've got evidence. Getafix is golden sickle! Why, Tutatis? If Getafix was here, I'm sure he could give us an explanation of this whole story. But Belenos alone knows where he is now. He's in Las Vegum. What's that, Las Vegum? Las Vegum, located in the heart of Rome, this city of luxury and pleasure is dedicated to the pursuit of sporting entertainment for the greater happiness of Romans everywhere. Las Vegum is round-the-clock gladiator combat to the goriest death. It's skimpily clad slaves fed to hungry lions seven days a week. But Las Vegum is above all a unique welcome and a festival atmosphere every day of the week in a fairy tale setting. Cross the romantic hills of Utisha as if you were really there. Laugh out loud with the joyful antics of Pirate Island and spend an unforgettable night in the pure opulence of Caesar's Palace. Las Vegum, the Roman holiday you'll never forget. Opening soon. A Jules Caesar production. A city for games? These Romans are crazy. Asterix, you and Obelix are going to Rome. It's the only way to discover why Getafix has betrayed us. To discover if he betrayed us by the statistics. Oh well, yes, that's what I was going to say. I'll come with you, Gaul. Stay well away from us, Sam Shiva. This whole thing stinks of a trap. But we have no choice. Right, all. let's go, Obelix.
what should we do, Asterix? Should I knock? No, Obelix, you'll break it. Well, yes, of course. Psst, Look, Asterix, it's our friend the traitor. You can't get in through the main door, Goals. The park isn't open to the public yet. But I know a secret entrance. There. Behind that block. Over to you, Obelix. Hold this, please, traitor. <laughs> Let's go, Obelix. We wait for you, Sam Schiffer. Go on ahead, Gola. I'll catch you up. of different ways to batter a legionary. We'll see that later. Ah, where are the Romans? Behind you!
It must have a new aerodynamic armor to cut down on air Meet me in the second room to light the second torch. You already know that you can control either Asterix or Obelix at any moment by pressing the switch button. It is very useful to change character from time to time, as there are some things that Asterix can do but not Obelix, and vice versa. Sometimes you may have to use your noodle. For example, could Obelix pass through this little passage? Of course not! Who are you talking to, Asterix? I don't know, Obelix. This character is worrying me more and more. pushing this little stone block. First, get close to it. There's no need to press the button. Everything takes care of itself. Ain't progress a fine thing. Is he taking us for fools, Asterix? I know how to push a little stone. I'm more worried about that button he keeps on talking about. Using the block, you should be able to reach the ledge up above. Be 
very careful with this bomb. I've got no magnetic pocket. Obelix? I'm not that heavy. If Mr. Asterix isn't happy, he can just move his machine all by himself.
must have flown at least three miles. Not bad, eh? <laughs> Mr. Asterix forgot to say that he's allowed to have much potion he is. <laughs>
lot of exercise to keep in shape, hmm? Love Felix? Yeah, yeah, but I'm getting a bit hungry, Asterix. But I haven't seen a single wild boy here. What are they, these rodents? <laughs> These red flames remind me of the smoke escaping from my prison when I drew it with being held. Maybe there's a link.
a little Venezia. You must get these bateau mouches working. Bateau mouches? Bit silly. These Romans are crazy. Soldier, we have to get in. Sorry, gentlemen, I cannot work. Stand back, Asterix. I'll pay him a visit. I'm going through the door. I ain't gonna work all, even if you had superhuman strength, which I doubt seeing as this is real life. But even if you had such strength, it ain't gonna work. This door is indestructible. So I'll come back when you've got the entrance fee. Cause this ain't gonna work.
Ave Caesar! Ave yourself, Centurion Larry Craft. So, what news have you? Two things, Caesar. What good and what bad? I don't much like my news to come in complimentary pairs, Larry Croft. It reminds me of those two Gauls, the little and the big one. Funny you should say that, Caesar. Sam Schiffer has warned the Gauls of our operation. He's in Las Vegas as we speak with two Gauls. By Jupiter, he's brought Asterix and Obelix. I don't know their names, noble Caesar. Uh, there's a little one with a moustache. Uh, and a big stripey one. Ah! They have to be stopped by any means. Send out every available legion. By Mars, Larry Craft. Get up and go!